Alrighty, here we are at Calipatria. Getting ready to do some IV curve testing for five modules individually while they're dusty since it hasn't rained for three weeks. And then we're gonna wash them and do the same IV curve testing for the same five modules individually. Maybe uh, take two or three tests for each module. And then we'll be able to compare what the dusty modules with three weeks dust, how they perform opposed to brand new just washed modules. It's about 12.30 p.m. right now and I'm just at Calipatria and I'm going to get it all set up so when Brett and Freddie show up in a few minutes um, I'll be able to start testing and then get the five modules tested dust to, with the dust on them and then the group of us will wash them and then do, do the testing over again. So here's just a little walk around. Right here we have two of the components of the Ivy Curve tester. In this bag here is the unit that goes on the array, the Soul Sensor 300, and it has like an irradiance meter, meter there and uh, on and off button. And then just jacks where we connect the back of the module temperature sensor so there's t1 and t2 for two channels we can measure two channels but we're just going to have one sensor so this clamps onto the side of the array so right now i'll take care of that I'm hoping we can just get the end of the array and get five modules. I might have to go to the opposite end. Let's see these wires, see how the home run's hooked up. Okay. Here's the cable trays that we're suffering with. We're afraid the vegetation's gonna grow up and start collecting making uh, nests and things in those cables. Uh, this site is doing pretty good vegetation-wise. There's a home run. Okay, one home run starts right here. I'm going to work on this this end these five modules so here we go to mount this on the array right on this inside corner it just fits right like that so then it's real easy just get it on there, hook this behind the module frame, tighten it up, and you're good. And we'll just expose the irradiance meter and we'll attach when we're ready to test. I don't want it to get dirty now. And then I'm going to attach the back of the module temperature probe next. You can see how clean these modules are. There's pollen out here in Calipatria, so they look fairly clean. There's a sprinkling of bird droppings and a fair amount of dust and pollen buildup. And we're going to try to figure out what percentage of the production are we losing after we test them dirty and then clean. So. Go. Temperature probe wire.
There's a couple of them. Electricians make good fishermen. They're always untangling wires and strings. <laughs> okay, so that's the temperature probe. This will be a cool little sticky, round sticky kind of a piece of mylar that we can stick it the end of the temperature probe. It's like a thermocouple. We're going to stick it to the back of the module. All right. Here's the plug. I'm just going to plug it into T1 in the back. There's a fat probe and a skinny probe, so it's polarized. It only goes in one way. Next, I'll just take this, the end of this thermocouple, put the tape, a little sticky mylar thing right on it. Somewhere in the middle of one of these cells. I'll stick it on there and we're ready. Okay, so that's ready sitting there. It's going to measure the angle of the array. The irradiance in watts per square meter, the back of the module temperature, and then send that data to the software instantly when it takes the measurement. All right, back at the car. We just mounted the sole sensor on the array. Here's the bag. There's a charger in there. And, uh, not too much other stuff. There's a spare temperature probe and more mylar sticky tapes. And this is the PV analyzer. Now what this PV analyzer does is it has a couple of MC4 connectors that just either plug into a module or a string. And then when you're testing the laptop connects to the, the Wi-Fi server. So this analyzer creates a Wi-Fi hotspot that my laptop will log into. And then it also has the PV analyzer or the PV soul sensor that's out there on the end of the array talking to it through Wi-Fi as well. So it's a little network of three things. The soul sensor, the PV analyzer, to the laptop. And the server is in the PV analyzer. So it's all internal. There's only like an on and off button right here. And then that's it, basically. A port to charge it and some extra cables and a charger. Always charge these things overnight before you go out into the field. You don't want to test for one hour and then find out your battery dies so this will go over and plug into the first module which might take me a couple minutes to get ready but uh, here we go the wires are on the back of the modules right here I have to hang this so the wires can fit to the module wires or I'll let those hang down a little bit and this can rest on the ground so the next thing I'm going to do is get my uh, disconnect tool MC4 disconnect tool and isolate these five modules make sure I'm not turning off any ones that are running that are hot right now tools I'm going to I'm going to need will be my amp probe and some connector disconnect tools this array 
Our rack right here has two inverters that are not producing. So I'm hoping that these modules are not running, but I can turn them off if I have to. So I'm on DC amps and I just zeroed it out. Test it down at the end. It'd be nicer to do be close to the uh, tester, the laptop, and everything in the air shot. Because uh, one guy is going to be connecting up the PV analyzer to the solar panel, and the other guy is going to be at the laptop pushing the button to do, to do the test. But I can run back and forth and do it all myself. But if I put it all the way down at that end, <laughs> I'll be running a longer distance. Let's see. All these strings are running. Three strings. These are all hot. Okay, I want to just turn off the one. I'm going to turn off the one home run. That's right here. Here we go. For that, I'm going to get some rubber gloves. Let's try the black one. The inline connector tool, the connectors that are built into the bottom of the highway inverters, wallway inverters. Take the blue plastic tool. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now that was under low. That's why I jerked it out of there fast. I used these gloves. So now this string is dead. Set up the Solmetric PV 1500 analyzer is hanging there close to this one module that we're actually testing because the cables are only so long and we're hooked up to this module. All right. So now I'm going to turn these guys on and see if I can get them communicating with the laptop. So this one is on. Let's see if I can make it search for. Okay, it's blinking green. I think it's going to try to create a network between that and the soul sensor. Let's see if I can see the red light is on. There, yep, okay, soul sensor. And now I'll turn the, open up the PV analyzer software on my PV PC laptop. See if they can connect. link up and create a network. To finish up here, we have site superintendents Brett and Freddie teaming up with O&M to perform dirty module clean module testing as well as inverter swapping and moving and tracker repairs in order to get this site completed and turned over to O&M.